Hi guys, it's Tasma from We Speak Geek here. Now for ages I've wanted to own my own hot toy. I know some of the other members of the We Speak Geek crew have their own little mini collection of hot toys. So that kind of pushed me to want to start my own. You know, hot toys are renowned for their incredible detail on the action figures and statues that they do. So I wanted to have my own so I could actually experience that first off. So I actually managed to get one. Now, don't worry, I'm not going to do the whole video from this far away because obviously the camera won't catch the amazing detail that's in the in the figure and the actual box itself, so let's get a closer look. So like I said, just, just look at the detail on the box. I love the metallic feel to it as well. So it's just incredible. This is just the, it's just the box as well. So you can see the Superman emblem there. A bit of details on the back. And same again there. So let's open it up a little bit. So, I don't know if you can see, but the detail here is from the Man of Steel suit as well. Like I said, it is a second-hand figure, so, and I know it has been taken out of the box, so it might not have been placed as it would have been if it was brand new, but hey-ho. I'm so excited. I've literally, I've wanted one of these for so long, it's, it's actually, I can't believe I've actually got one. So, I'm just trying to be as careful as I can so I don't damage it or ruin it in any way. So heavy as well, I wasn't expecting it to be so heavy. So now if I take the out a bit on, we can get a bit of a closer look at the actual detail of the statue. Oh my god, it's... I don't know how they do it, they just look so realistic. Even the costume. We get several sets of hands. Even the codex. So you can get the codex. Man, I wish I had a better camera to film this because it's this phone just does not capture the detail that's in this at all. It's absolutely stunning. So I'm gonna start taking out the, the packaging to I'm gonna do my first session of posing, I guess, with the Hot Toys figures, because I know they're quite poseable anyway. And I've seen some of the things that people do with them and they just, they just look incredible. Oh man. It's just on another level. So you also have pieces like the weaponry, the gun. Like I showed you before, you have the codex. And then, oh. I guess these are spare parts in case stuff falls out or breaks. And then you have several sets of hands so you can do different, different lots of posing. You have the holding hands, I guess. And you also have the fighting hands, which I guess is when um, Joel and General Zod go at it. Oh wait, there's something at the bottom as well. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, okay, this is, this is what's so heavy. So, you have the Superman emblem, which I guess is what you pose it on so it stands up straight so you can see it's kind of metallic and just you can just see the the detail on it it's incredible no exception for the stand oh look and it also has oh you can't, there you go Joe Al Man of Steel on the front as well so for those that know me know that I'm prolific for leaving things in the boxes I don't like taking them out but because this is second hand I will open it, which is why I'm posing it, and obviously I've kind of ripped the box, not ripped the box apart, but I've taken everything out and all the little pieces out. But I'm so glad I took it out of this one because, you know, you just, even though it looks so detailed when it's packaged and you, know, you can tell it's going to be an amazing figure, it's just, the detail on this is just incredible and you really wouldn't see some of it unless you got it out of the box. So to anyone who gets hot toys, make sure you take it out of the box. So I also kind of want to show you a little bit of the bits that came. So like I said before, there's the codex and it even has the gold little bits of metallic it has, so just, like, just like in the film. So you can kind of pop that in his hands. And you also have Kryptonian weaponry, which if you look very closely, it even has Kryptonian markings on it. Just like from the scale of my hand, you can see how small that is. And the fact that it has all of that detail on it is just... It's unbelievable. 
you know like I said the detail is just it's unreal so here's a better look at the plaque that was shown earlier and the base as well just look at the costume it's just oh, it's amazing I actually, I actually can't believe that I own a hot toy it's the material cape as well and it's kind of got um, bits of wire at the end so you can pose it so it kind of sticks out a little bit more so it looks like he's actually moving around it's just amazing the detail there and the suit oh it's just I can't even just look at the stubble on his face look at his face I don't know how they do it it's just really is incredible and here's a look at the back of the figure as well no exception incredible so like I said, I'm not the. I'm new to posing because I've, you know, I've never had a hot toy before. But here's the first attempt. So you can like, I've changed the hands over a little bit, so you can kind of play with those, which is all good fun. It's just, I can't even believe it. Amazing, amazing. Possibly the best figure I own. Actually, no, it genuinely is. Genuinely is. Love it. 